What's up, Whiskey Chaser fam? Welcome back to another video. Hope everybody's doing fantastic. It is Sunday the, what's today, the 10th. Sunday the 10th of March, which means it is Daylight Savings. That's it. We did it, boys and girls. We did it. We saved the sun. Yes! Fantastic! I'm headed up to the hardware store. A unnamed hardware store, because I don't know which one I'm going to yet. <laughs> I don't have a favorite of hardware stores, but I think the closest one to me is a Lowe's. I'm pretty sure it's up here. I don't really go all that much, uh, but sometimes, you know, you need a couple little things. So I have the canopy for the 4Runner that goes out of the driver's side and completely covers. It's like a big tent canopy thing, whatever. Uh, but the problem is that if the wind blows, then the whole canopy picks up and moves. I got some weights, some like uh, stage weight kind of things. The posts can go in, but they need something to grab onto. So I'm headed up to Home Depot or Lowe's or whatever it is that's up here right now. I'm gonna grab some hardware for that. But on the way, I wanted to talk about this bike right here. The 2017 Harley Davidson Street Bob, the Dyna platform, the last year of the Dyna 103 cubic inches of pure twin cami bay power. Man, dude, I love this bike. I love it a lot. It is my one year anniversary it's been a little bit over one year i uh tried to make this video a couple of videos ago but i wasn't able to for unforeseen circumstances but now here we are now granted this street bob is not completely stock it does have forward controls it has exhaust and it has handlebars other than that it's pretty much just a regular walk off the line street bob uh regular dyna that you would find does have a little bit more comfort in terms of long distance travel which y'all know i'm a big fan of making my bikes as comfortable as possible for long distance because i do ride them long distance in fact i got this thing with 3600 miles on it and right now i am just shy i am 204 miles shy of 10,000, which doesn't really sound like a lot, but you also have to consider that I have another bike, the Yamaha Bolt, that I put a lot of miles on as well. So between the two bikes, I've done not as much as I wanted to this year, but I've done quite a bit. Uh, last year, as soon as I got this Street Bob, I ripped it down to Florida for Jack's birthday. I went to the Georgia Grundle Run. I went to the Tennessee Motorcycle Music Revival Festival. I uh, went on a couple of couple of trips, man. Like I said, definitely not as much as I wanted to, but hey, we made it happen. So this is the question. One year with the Dyna, one year with the Street Bob, FXDB, I believe. Do I recommend a bike like this? Now, we also have in our motorcycle arsenal a 2021 Heritage Deluxe which is on the soft tail platform, which is what they moved at the Street Bob to. Uh, the newer Street Bob since 2018 has been on the soft tail platform with the Milwaukee 8. I am not a fan of a couple of things about that bike. Uh, I think that the Street Bob is probably the worst example of the soft tail line that they've possibly put out. Uh, Street Bob and soft tail standard, which are the, uh, the same bike essentially. Uh, just one comes with the one set, 107 I believe, and one comes with the 114. Uh, but they're, you know, besides the colors, they're the same bike. I'm not a fan of that one, that Street Bob. The Heritage is a great bike, but the Street Bob, I'm like, I'm not into it. If you can find a Dyna, if you can find a primo, pristine looking Dyna, would I recommend this? I'm so fucking lonely, hell yeah! Dude, this bike is fucking great! It's so loud, it's ripping! The twin cam is so cool. I love this bike so much. There are some things that are, you know, whatever. Maybe I would change like the handlebars. Maybe I would change like the seats. Maybe I would change like the exhaust, like the mid controls. However, man, just a couple of bolt-ons on this fucking insanely cool bike makes this one of the best feeling motorcycles on the planet. Dude, everybody's out on their bikes today. Hell yeah. 
It is a gloriously beautiful day here in Nashville. Yesterday it rained. It was disgusting. Today it is uh, almost 60. It was like 55, 57, something like that. The sun is out. It's not a cloud in the sky. <sighs> what a day. What a day to ride motorcycles, dude. And if you're going to be riding a motorcycle, why not? <laughs> why not ride on that beautiful 103 cubic inch fucking big ass twin cam delicious motor. Oh, this thing, it looks good, it feels good, it sounds good. I get compliments all the time on this motorcycle. You know, it's just, it's wild because considering the, you know, the mileage, the year, the stuff like that, obviously you can find better stuff. Oh yeah, by the way, we're going to a Lowe's. <laughs> but man, just, this bike is so cool, dude. It's so cool. Let's park over here, out in the middle, do a little walk around, see what's going on. Because I want you all to appreciate this thing in all of its magnificent glory. All right, there we go. The 2017 Harley Davidson Street Mob. The Dyna 103 cubic inch engine. Ugh, I love this bike so much. Obviously, as I said, I have done a little bit of modifications to it. Seat, handlebars, forward controls came on it, but man, it looks so good. And like, I'm not even a fan of spokes, but the spokes on this thing set it off so well. The fact that they put like the mat all on the engine, so it's not that silvery chrome crap. This could go, this could change, but I do like the stock intake so that I don't have to worry about any rain or anything like that just in case I get caught in it. Now, there are some things I would change about this bike. It doesn't come with a security system, which I think is bogus. So you do have a key for it that you can lock the ignition right here. You can drop that key in there, lock it so it's not moving anywhere. That same key will also work right here on the fork locks. But I don't really think that you should have to do that. I think that a bike in 2017 should come with a security system. You know, it's not really that difficult. It's about 300 bucks to add it. You gotta go through Harley to do it. You get a key fob, just like you do with the new ones. I don't know, it's kind of bogus. However, it's really kind of the only thing I don't like. It looks good, it sounds good, it feels good. Man, it would be nice if it came with a LED headlight, but this one works just fine, dude. I don't like that, you know, there's no luggage, but that's kind of part of the whole street mob aspect. You can get the uh, other versions of this bike that do come with luggage. It's not a touring platform necessarily, so it's not like it's gonna be like the Road King that comes with the bags or anything like that, or Street Glide, that you know, will come with all that kind of stuff already on it. But it's really not that hard to add it. Uh, you do have to get tail light relocation kit for a lot of these bags but you know I have the soft bags that just go right over the thing right here they just get thrown over and strapped down I don't really have a huge problem with the setup I have going on which is you know my daily bag that just goes right there clicks in and then I just have this William Max bag over here that holds a couple things <sighs> Good looking bike. all right I gotta go in there and get some stuff I'll be right back all right, got what we needed from the store, and I gotta say, every time I walk out here, I will never grow old of that. Never at all. It's just so good looking. Everything about it just looks oh, incredible. Incredible. I'm telling you guys, if you find one of these out in the wild, 100%. If you are able, snag it. Every time I ride it, I have to like re-fall in love with it. I don't know why, but it's like I, it takes a while. I, I, I don't ride it for a bit. I'm like, oh man, yeah, I remember all the bad stuff about it, but really all that bad. Ride it. All those bad things I thought. <laughs> really uh, all right, let's get home. I'll tell you what, everybody. I know that uh, I'm a very fortunate guy. I got things that I probably shouldn't. I uh, made it through a lot of this life kind of by the skin of my teeth and uh, stayed under the radar a lot and really 
didn't have to worry about too much uh, while worrying about everything all at the same time and whenever you get on a bike like this whenever you freaking start it up and it just bah, rah, 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 and you crack the throttle and you feel you just feel the goodness bah, behind little pulls like that then they take your stomach and they just drop it down into your lower intestines <laughs> Oh man, it's days like today that just make you fortunate, you know, make, they make you glad, glad to be here, glad to be out in this world with them. not a lot, but you know, a little bit. And on a bike like this, oh boy, it just makes everything a little bit better. I'll tell you what, when I first bought this bike a year ago, I said it was the last great Harley Davidson that they had possibly made. I still think that's kind of true. You know, I haven't ridden on the breakout, but I do like the breakout. Everything else, kind of not into. Now, if uh, Harley Davidson came up and offered me my choice of any bike off of the 2024 lineup, I'd say, hey man, here it is, it's yours. It's free, take it, enjoy it, uh, talk about it, whatever. I would definitely not say no to a Road King special. <laughs> I definitely would not say no. Uh, I think it might be set up a little bit better for some of the stuff that I do. I wouldn't mind taking it on some longer trips, but I'm, I'm into this. This is this is the last great bike that Harley made. And it was the new Street Bobs, even though they do look good. I will give I'll give them that. They do look good. Uh, they just don't they don't fit the bill of what it was like to ride a Harley Davidson. You know, the uh, the Milwaukee 8 is, it's fine. The way that the controls are set up, they're fine. Paint schemes, they're fine. It's fine, but it's nothing like this. It's nothing like the feeling, the sounds, the look, just everything about this bike is just cool. <laughs> and I love this bike. 2017 Harley Davidson Street Bob FXDB. Man, what a bike. What a year. I do not regret this decision at all. It was so great to be able to get back on a Harley Davidson after so long. No hate towards the Yamaha Bolt. Absolutely love it. One of the best bikes I've ever ridden in my entire life. Every time I get back on that thing, I relearn what it's like to be on such an amazing motorcycle. But dude, nothing beats a good old fashioned Milwaukee, USA, bred, born Harley Davidson, baby. Oh, yes. <laughs> Thank you all for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you go out and you find yourself the best motorcycle that you've ever ridden in your entire life, whether it be one of these, whether it be a metric cruiser, whether it be a four cylinder leader bike, whatever it is, I hope you find that bike. I hope that something that you throw your leg over brings you the joy that this motorcycle has brought me over the last year. I'm so in love with this bike. I'm so happy that I was able to find this, to purchase it to get out here and rip this thing. And I want you to do the same thing. Thank you all for joining. I really appreciate it. Check the links down below. Join my Patreon if you want to get exclusive access to things like my Discord and other little ideas that we're all talking about all the time. We're doing meetups. We're coming down to the Forgotten Angels camp out next weekend. It's going to be a great time. I hope that I see y'all there and I hope that you just have the best time ever. Live in life, whether it be two wheels, three wheels, four wheels, whatever, however many wheels, get out there. Enjoy the ride. Enjoy life. Enjoy the weather. Enjoy everything. Because at the end of the day, things are pretty bad. But we can find some good. We can find a little good. We can we can do a little good. We can feel, feel a little better about ourselves by scraping a couple of uh, the bad tick marks off. I don't know what I'm talking about anymore. I'm just, <laughs> I'm totally just elated to be out here right now riding, 
riding this bike and, and being in this, you know, beautiful weather and just having a good time. And <sighs> All right, that's it. I'm done rambling. Check the links. See you at Forgotten Angels. Don't forget to register. If you haven't registered, go register. If you bought $100 worth of raffle tickets, that counts. Go register with your raffle tickets. See you there. I love you. Adios. Ha, ha, ha.